Hello and welcome to another wee video by Smith Gaming. In this little video, I'm going to show you how to install mods for Spin Tires Mud Runner. There's actually two different ways to do this, so I'm going to show you both ways as quickly and as efficiently as I can. So please bear with me. So right, first step: your friend, whoever, whatever, from a website gives you a mod that you want to download. This is the media way, actually. Sorry. Uh, so you download, they give you the, the link or they give you the file, whatever. So anyway, I've downloaded two uh, here, as you can see, they're in my downloads folder. Right, so first things first, we'll do the top one, we'll do banks first. So we'll just right click, extract here. So that's the file there. Some of them I will we'll do differently, but we'll, I'll show you that in a wee moment or two. And the next thing we need to do is go to spin, sorry, on Steam, spin tires mud runner, right click. Go to properties, then local files, and then browse local files. Just close that, minimize Steam, and here we have the other wee folder. So this is the Steam's, uh, the Spin Tires Mud Runner EXE folder. So basically what we do now is right click on the that one, uh, click new, click folder, type in media. Then go to config, open with, notepad. What I'm just going to do here is copy, highlight all that, copy it, hit enter, press tab, control V, and then just delete that little bit. So that's just a file path pointing to this folder. File, save, close that. If it prompts you to save again, just click yes, uh, save it again. Right, so we'll open up the media folder here. It's empty. So what we basically want to do here is open up banks, click media, highlight everything in here, left click, drag and drop everything into there. Or else you can click here and just click, uh, sorry, highlight everything over here, click copy over here, click paste, paste it all into that folder. So that's it all in there. So basically that is the mod installed. So I'm going to just load up the game, I'll show you the mod inside the game and then I'll show you how to add another mod on top of that because that was a wee bit confusing for me. But anyway, so right, let's start up the game. And here we are in Spin Tires. So we'll just go to single player, then we'll click one of these trucks and as you can see that is the mod we added. Just show you the rest there. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add another, another truck, another Blah blah. So all we we'll do is I'll tab out of the game. So after exiting out the game, we come on the back to our downloads folder. So this is our downloads folder again, and this is just still the EXE file uh, mud runner. So we we'll go over to Raptor here, and we'll right click Raptor and extract here. This one will open a little bit differently, as you can see here. It's opened it up like that. So I basically want to highlight all these. This is why it's really important to keep this folder relatively clean, or else you know where all the files are. We'll open this and just click here, copy, go over here, right click, paste. And you can see it's pasted it all in where it needs to go. Now, all we're going to do now is go back to the game. So, this is us back in the game. Uh, left click, and as you can see there, there they're all added. That's the mod that I last added. You can see before that they weren't there, now that they are. Sorry, it's all them. So, it really is that simple. But now, let me show you the other way. So I'll tab out of the game. Here we go here. We're on Steam. Uh, it says Mud Runners, or sorry, Spin Tires Mud Runners. Make sure that's highlighted. Go up to Community. Go up to Workshop. Left click Workshop. Brings you to this screen. Uh, you probably have the type it in here actually. Mud. There we go. Spin Tires. Just do research and then that comes up there. Brings you up this, but we'll talk about this in a wee second. Actually, see if we were actually just back there, say back to libraries. If you're over here and you, you've already played Spin Tires, obviously, you go to community, then you go to discussions, and then you go, to, it'll come up here, forums you've recently, you've, you've for a for recent game, sorry. <laughs> uh, just click that and it'll bring you to here, then just go over to workshop. Just just another wee way of getting you back to this page. Uh, right, okay, so this is where the mods are. Basically, these are all mods here. What will we add? Add something random that we can see. Just left click that. See where it says here subscribe. Just click subscribe. And you'll see it downloading. That's it finished downloading. 
So basically what we do now is exit out of the game. So the game shuts down. Go to the library and then just give it a wee minute. It will take a wee minute to install. Right, so highlight it and then just click play. So here we are back into single player. Manage mods. So there's it there. Now the problem here is you need points to unlock it. Now where was that? Uh, that's it there. So we need two points. I haven't got no points at the minute. But save your you're in the same predicament. All you need to do and you want to test it, just go to proving ground. Then we click spawn, and then we look for what it was. Oh, there's it there. So then we just do that. Double click it. Click done. Uh, advance change truck. Oops, double click, and that's us in it. And that's the mod we just installed through the workshop and that works exactly the same way for every other mod as well so i'm hoping that this video isn't too long so i'm going to cut it short and sweet but thank you very much for watching the video i hope it helps you this is works the same way with maps as well by the way so thank you very much for watching and bye